here with Tokyo Sam. What's up, suckers? Where are we headed today, Sam? We're heading to my mom's house. Um, this is probably going to be the most boring chore from JFAC ever since we're going to be doing it about Sam's mom's house. But... <laughs> All up in your house with the resurrection. No, we're going to the aquarium because we like fishes and shit. That's right. Today we're headed to Osaka Aquarium. Island when you come to see the aquarium here and this island is not actually a real uh, natural island made by nature it was a man-made island that was used by technology from a guy who also used uh, the Kansai Airport made the Kansai Airport land which is also a fake island and another one farther off called Cosmos Square and this yeah. is technology that's really actually quite old it was from the 1940s and the guy who designed this also was going to design a floating city. I'm dead serious, I know it sounds futuristic, but he was gonna design a floating city for Tokyo, but the guy who was funding him from Japan, the Japanese person funding him, died before that could actually happen. But here's some of the technology that he did get to start, and one of them is man-made islands like this that are really actually quite uh, superior to some of the natural ones you might see out here. Yeah, look at that, dude. Like, they even have a fucking elementary school and like a junior high school on a fucking like Port Island. It's so cool. And we're here and we want to go all the way down to Yeah. That's cool. Well, your adventure bro. starts here by first going up an escalator that's about eight floors. You start out in what's kind of a jungle area like what we're at right here. And it's a perfectly contained environment that starts at the top where there's like a jungle type forest. They call it the Nihon no Mori Japanese forest area. And from the top, you'll start to see water, like little lakes, little ponds and stuff. But they continue on down all the way through the entire eight floors, making a giant uh, aquarium that you're pretty much walking down in a spiral here. here is, submerged. You can actually interact with the Nintendo DS. There's actually a game you can buy. You can put it in there and you can get information. Turn it on and play along with the place as you go from each part in each exhibit. That's pretty interesting. Something that's constantly being used in Japan. I've seen it at McDonald's and now here at the aquarium.
hope you enjoyed it today. You're with Sam and I. Yep. Until next time, this is Jay Fack. I'm on the